Welcome back. If you are just joining us, we have some breaking news, and that, of course, is the passing away of Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembu, of a COVID-related illness. President Sir Ramaphosa issuing a statement just before 3 o'clock, and I'll read a bit of it. It says, it is with deep sorrow and shock that we announce that Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembu, passed away earlier today from COVID-related implications or complications. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, with his family at this time of loss. Minister Mtembu was an exemplary leader, an activist, and lifelong champion of democracy and freedom. He was a much-loved and greatly respected colleague and comrade whose passing leaves our nation at a loss. Let's continue to get reaction now from ACDP leader Kenneth Meshwe. Mr. Meshwe, uh, there's so many ways that Jackson Mtembu has been described. He valued accountability. Uh, you know, he was frank in his approach to corruption. He was a man who stood for freedom and equality in South Africa. How do you remember him? I know Minister Jackson Tembu as a very passionate individual, an individual that was very respectful. He treated people, whether in the official party or in the opposition, with great respect. As a result, he was highly respected by members, particularly of the opposition, because I'm in the opposition, who valued his responses, who valued his willingness to help at any time. If you would call Minister Mutembo and would not be available on his phone, he will call you back. His approach to leadership was an inspiration, and so it is a great loss for us all in Parliament to be without him the next couple of years. I pray that on the behalf of the ACDP that his family be comforted and members of the AC, ANC also be comforted because he is going to be greatly missed, not only by us who knew him in, for, in Parliament only, but even those that were working with him outside Parliament in ANC structures. We value his support, we value his, integ his integrity and his hatred for corruption. So he's definitely going to be solely missed by us in the ACDP, and we pray indeed that his family will be comforted. And behind the scenes, what was your interaction like him with? Like, how, how was that? How did that play out behind the scenes? Because we always see politicians in Parliament on those benches shouting at each other. But that's not the reality behind the scenes, isn't it? You know, I've had uh, tea with him a number of occasions and also lunch in, in Parliament. He was a jolly, friendly person. Whenever I would see him, and particularly if he would sit alone, I would be attracted to him because he was that kind of a person that you would enjoy his presence. So and I know his corner, the corner he liked very much when he would be in the house or in, in, in the restaurant. So I would look in those corners where he would normally sit, and I really would miss him because I enjoyed interacting with him uh, during lunch or when we had him. All right, thank you so much for your time, ACDP leader Kenneth Meshwe. Let's continue to get reaction from the IFP's Mkuleko Tlengwa joining us. Uh, you, of course, are a young politician. You had the honor of working alongside Jackson Mtembu. Just tell us how you'll remember him. Thank you very much, I'm sure. And condolences to the Mtembu family and the government and the, the ANC on the passing of this great patriot who was an individual who was the embodiment of mutual respect for everybody that crossed this path. Always lending an ear, always ready to advise, and had an open door policy. He was a bridge builder, and you'll consider the time, the very tumultuous time when he was the chief whip of the ANC in Parliament, that he was still, albeit the challenges that Parliament faced, still make sure that the agenda of Parliament moved forward and was able to endure the respect of all across the political spectrum. And he carried that kind of energy when he was minister in the presidency as well. And that is what um, defines a patriot, somebody who is able and deployed to rise above the divides of politics and understand that we are in this together. And so having worked with uh, Minister Mtembo has been a privilege because we have been able to learn 
that it is possible to agree to disagree without being disagreeable and to interact uh, with one another, um, you know, sometimes, you know, in a fun way, but not lose the seriousness of the task at hand. And Minister Tim was full of life, he was very energetic. Um, and so he was able to break the ice at times in very difficult moments, um, but also usher in seriousness when it was required. And that kind of balance boded very well for, for Parliament and just for South African politics um, in general. Yeah, and as a 33-year-old member of Parliament, uh, what would you say you could learn and influence your way forward in this industry, in politics as a whole in South Africa, through Jackson and Tembo? Well, we need to start viewing each other as South Africans and understanding that um, the progress of this country is the responsibility of all. Um, and we are in this mess together. And whatever vantage point you may be viewing the politics, you need to engage in it from a solution-based um, perspective to make a meaningful contribution. Um, and we need to create a conducive and enabling environment for all those voices to be heard. And so we need to be listeners um, and we need to be doers. And Minister Mtembu was one such individual um, who was able to listen to others and that's why he prospered and that's why he was able to enjoy the respect of all because he did not confine himself to only that which he knew but broadened his horizons in the service of the people by tapping into every perspective. And so that is the responsibility that now sits on all of our shoulders to emulate his example, to say that we are servants of the people and we are patriots. And um, if we can at the very least begin understanding our political contribution from that perspective, this country can take even greater strides in the right direction.